an urban scale weather model that will simulate weather conditions in Singapore with a high degree of detail. Now, this is in the works as the Meteorological Service Singapore improves its severe weather monitoring system. Now, experts are warning that extreme weather events are set to get worse and occur more often. Torrential rain leading to severe flooding. Such extreme weather events, like what's happening in Hong Kong, used to take place only once every 50 to 100 years. Now, experts are predicting that due to global warming, they may soon happen as often as once every 10 years. And Singapore is at high risk. We also have urban heat. Uh, so if Singapore gets warmer, hotter, this means that atmosphere can store more more vapor in, um, in in the atmosphere, more water, which actually means that we will have more extreme rainfall as well. And with Singapore's built-up landscape, it is not easy to make accurate weather forecasts. The urban settings make the weather prediction more challenging because the urban disturbs the wind flows and the urban releases the heat. Uh, absorbed, uh, change the flow patterns. So it's, it's, it's extremely difficult to, to make the prediction of extreme precipitation and the flooding in the urban setting. That's why the MSS, which comes under the National Environment Agency, is developing an urban scale weather model. It's a complex computer program which simulates the behavior of atmospheric processes over Singapore. Data collected by sensors around the island will be used to evaluate the accuracy of this model. Still, MSS says extreme weather events will remain challenging to forecast, and experts are exploring solutions that can ease floods in urban areas. If you have a solution in which, yes, you have some engineering structure, but you also have uh, nature-inspired solutions. You know, if you have an interaction between a vegetation with the plants uh, that uh, add uh, aesthetic component, but also function to enhance engineering function, well, that is, you remain a city in the garden, Yet you have a very robust response uh, strategy. Public education is also key so that everyone knows what to do. We should conduct public awareness campaigns and educational programs to inform residents about flooding risk, safety measures, and how to respond to the alerts. Uh, educated and prepared citizens, they can take proactive steps to protect themselves and help others. For localized thunderstorms that can trigger flash floods, the MSS issues warnings about 30 minutes in advance. The public may also subscribe to the Public Utilities Board's SMS service or Telegram channel, which sends alerts in the event of heavy rain or high water levels.